Hi, welcome back. Because of all of the comments asking me to go over this, I have decided to do a reacting to Airplane, the classic movie from the 80s. I will be perfectly honest with you. I watched it once when I was 11, 12. It was my dad's favorite and he quoted it all the time. It never got old for him, but I just didn't get it. And yes, I'm very well aware that it is a parody. I am going to discuss how it is real though. Shall we? Shall we just dive right in? <laughs> I'm like three seconds in and already this is gold. I love this because it is such a classic scene, but they've used children and I'm here for it. I'm, yep. <laughs> there you go, thank you. Can you tell me if Elaine Dickinson is on this flight? Well, the uh, whole flight crew is boarded. Let me see. Oh yeah, she is on board. I am fairly certain, even if the people at the check-in desks knew who was operating a flight, that they would never tell a stranger who rocked up. Doesn't matter what year it was, whether or not that person was on the plane. It's way too suspect. I'd like one ticket to Chicago. Especially No now. baggage. Smoking or non-smoking? Okay, so this was in 1980, which means that there were still smoking sections on the planes. You could guess at what year they finally got rid of smoking sections. In the United States, there were still flights operating that had smoking on board up to the year 2000. In Canada, domestically, I think it was 1989. So within my lifetime for sure. Also, let's, like, if you're smoking on a plane, there is no way that it is going to stay within the section. I mean, why? Smoking, please. There. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Love a good visual gag. So good. So, so, so good. Oh, man. Dr. Rumick, Mr. Hemini ate fish, and Randy said there are five more cases, and they all had fish, too. So she's the flight attendant, and she's up front and he's the doctor, and he's also up front. It doesn't matter what the nature of the emergency is, we will keep people out of the flight deck. That is rule number one. Obviously the pilots are exempt. If you did work prior to 9-11, let me know, would you have ever brought the doctor into the flight deck? And the co-pilot had fish. What did the navigator have? He had fish. All right. Now we know what we're up against. Every passenger on this plane who had fish for dinner will become violently ill in the next half hour. Just how serious. <laughs> I, mean, I love how he looks down and there's like a perfectly preserved fish skeleton. On long distance flights where there are meals for the flight crew, the pilot and the first officer are not permitted to eat the same meal. In case of contaminants being in one of the meals. The victim becomes dizzy because of experience an itching, a rash, from there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. Well, that, that's not good. Obviously, it's supposed to be really dire, but in turbulence, when people try and do things and like flies out of their hands, we as flight crew always get a bit of a kick out of it. Uh, automatic. So we do have procedures if one of the pilots does become incapacitated, uh, ways to safely remove them, and we use their harness to tuck in their limbs so that if they do reawaken, they don't flail out and accidentally hit something. Fun tip. <laughs> but our autopilot is not a blow up doll. That is amazing. <laughs> and the facial expression. Oh. 
Okay, this is quite possibly one of the most iconic airplane scenes ever. Like, if, even if you've never watched the movie Airplane, I'm pretty sure you know of this scene. It's sad anymore. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Stewardess, please let me handle this. I have had so many people freak out mid-flight. It is very common for people to have full-blown panic attacks. I had someone once, I can't confirm that they were high on meth, but I strongly suspect that they were very high on meth, have a full-blown panic attack and start running and screaming on the plane during takeoff. Um, this is exactly how I would like to have handled that situation. It is not how we handle these situations. Calm down, now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this car. Calm down, get a hold of yourself. And I'm pretty sure this is exactly how every other person on that plane wanted the situation to be handled as well. Down, get a hold of yourself. Don't do your one on the phone. Everything's gonna be all right. Please, Sister, please don't handle this. The gun. Oh, so good. So good. No, no, he's down. He's down. Sound your alarm bell now. All right, now everybody, get. If we were actually bracing for an emergency landing, there is not a chance ever that the flight attendant would be standing while telling you to brace. We would be in our jump seats with the harnesses fastened telling you to brace because that's our brace position. But then again, that just wouldn't be as funny. So shall we? Crash position! <laughs> I take it all back. Oh my god. <laughs> I so, 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 so desperately wish that I was still flying so that I could do that during my recurrent training this year. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Can I get you something? Some more folk butter laying into the bone, jacking me up. Tight me. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Cuddy say can't hang. Oh, sh this does happen. You will have someone who is visibly, visibly upset or in discomfort or sick and they don't speak any of the languages that any of your crew speak. So you do try and find a translator. If it is a medical issue, we have an online medical resource available. It's done over satellite phone and they have every translator imaginable but sometimes people are just upset. So you will try and see if anybody in the area will speak the language so that you can help diffuse and calm down the situation. Jordis, I speak jive. Oh, good. He said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. All right, would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine. Just hang loose blood. She's gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama? My mama didn't raise no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> it is so ridiculous, but I love it so much because we've all found ourselves in a situation where we're like, I speak this language, but I don't understand this language. 209 at the ground control. We're loaded and ready to taxi. Goodbye, Bill. Goodbye, darling. I love you, darling. 209er, taxi to runway. They never. Actually, you know what? They might have still pulled away the stairs when, now that I think of this, they did used to pull the stairs away before they'd shut the door. Uh, now, it is, you have to close the door before they'll pull anything away so that no one gets hurt. Goodbye, darling. Have your picture taken. But no one would be waving to you on the runway. Let's be very clear about that. You get there, send me one, all right? Okay, here, hurry. And you would never, ever, ever taxi with an open door. This movie is so ridiculous and I love it. It doesn't work. Bill! Goodbye, darling. Bill! Oh. Flight 209er, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger. Huh? LA departure frequency 123.9er. Roger. Huh? Request vector. Over. What? 
flight 209er clear for vector 324. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Thank you for joining me for another reaction. I really enjoy going through these. Sometimes it hurts my heart a little bit because it makes me miss flying so much, but then there's just gems like this. I am definitely going to have to take a rewatch of this one. I love it. It is so clever. It's so well done. There's so many visual gags and they've obviously done a lot of research into the small nuances of being on an airplane. Let me know what your favorite scene in this movie is in the comment below. So if you did like this video, please like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We have tons of fun here. And if you'd like to support me, this channel is not monetized. I do have a Patreon going. And if you like what you see and you'd like to throw a little love my way, you can do that by clicking the Patreon link below. I hope you stay well, I hope you stay healthy, and I hope you have a great week. I will see you again soon. Take care.